Hi everyone, uh, I haven't been in for a while so I thought I'd just do a video just to make sure you are happy with all the coding we've been looking at recently. Um, I've got a few bits and pieces here that you've seen before, a couple of bits that are just a bit more interesting to give you an idea of other things you could try. So the most recent thing we looked at was our health uh, and, and damage. So if, if we, we load up this one here, you, you might remember it from the class, we have the health kit, we have the health bar and everything like that. And what, what we're hoping is going to happen is we have Noni, we can walk around a bit, we can get hit by the clown, oh no, that's terrible. Uh, but when we can gain the health bar, we can go invisible at the same time. We've also got the little health bars there for the clown, which we can have through collisions. Um, so if we look at the different actor types, uh, Noni was our main character and we can see that she had loads and loads of bits and pieces but the main ones we wanted to look at were the clown collision where we had our little boolean situation where uh, if we hit a clown we, we set hit, if hit is false we set hit to true which uh, kind of jumps over the need for any uh, convoluted invincibility frames and we also have our set player health to player health minus one. Uh, do remember that we're using a game attribute at the moment, we can see boolean getters. If you do want to create that all you need to do is create a new and make sure you click boolean instead of number. I know I said we always use number but boolean is helpful for a few little bits and pieces because you've got lots of numbers down there anyway. Um, health kit collision, make sure you kill that health kit immediately otherwise it's going to stick around you'll gain a million health uh, within uh, no time at all. Um, and we, we've also got a uh, few bits and pieces you have to remember when, when we create our character we've got to make sure that we've set hit to false because otherwise when we, um, if, if, well, when we get hit we set hit to true and then if we die we reload the screen the scene sorry so we need to make sure that when we start we set hit to false um, and also we want to set our player health to max and create a health bar I've put here so when the character is created the health bar comes with it the health bar has that very very simple situation of anchoring itself to the screen or we can so, uh, uh, sorry, and we can switch our animation to player health because we set it up very very neatly like this um, we've also got our uh, situation where if you, we do want it to follow the player we don't anchor it to the screen because otherwise it will stick where the player was at the first place and instead we use set our x values remember actors position set x to player x and player y which we set in our main character as well okay um, so those are all the bits and pieces we should remember there so getting hit and getting hurt and regaining health nice and easy uh, we also had our very quick clown um, clown health bar which we had to switch screen screen space to make sure that it's actually following the right place on the screen rather than um, inside the clown uh, we set a fill color to black to give a border we fill a round rectangle with uh, you know, the numbers we want I've had X of self and Y of self to sort of make sure they know um, whereabouts it is in regards to the player and we have a, another fill color so this one has the actual uh, health in it we can see using the health attribute do remember the health attribute is a, a blue attribute a private attribute just because we need to make sure that each clown has a different health um, attribute otherwise they'll all die and all share health which is ridiculous okay there's all sorts of bits and pieces there just to remember um, we've also looked recently at where is the thing we looked at traps and collectibles so traps and collectibles was all about making sure we had lots of different things to try and collect and hit and uh, you know, just make sure things can happen in our games um, so we can see here we've got uh, for once I've got my own little character he's running around um, we've got a switch which is this flag if we press enter while we're in it it turns on and off we can collect some notes which we've got moving up at the top left and we can get some coins as well and we've also got a danger thing at the end which spouts fire and kills us fantastic uh, hopefully that was on screen I think most of it was so the main part there of course was the coin now the coin very very simple when it hits a player we set our score appropriately with plus and kill self okay we've got to make sure that um, it 
you know, it, we, we kill it, otherwise we're going to get lots and lots of points very, very quickly. Um, the uh, other collect is exactly the same thing, except it's this time it's got its um, type is set to a random integer, and we switch animation to type because it comes in lots of different ways, so we can have uh, six different versions of the same type of collectible. It's a nice little aesthetic, it's not really necessary, but it's good to know. Um, we've got things like traps, which are relatively easy to do. Uh, you can see we, we, it's actually going to sit on top of a tile, and all it does when self into player, it creates fire on top of it and you know, it could damage it like we damaged uh, ourselves against the clown, uh, or you can just uh, reload because the fire you know, is, is a death trap. It's, it's up to you how you want to work with that. Um, the switch is an important one, of course. Uh, so you must have an off and on situation. Do make sure you have starred that off, otherwise it's not going to start. It's going to start in our, your random sort of off on um, animation state. And then we've got a relatively uh, long piece of code just to make sure that everything's working. So if current animation of self equals off and switched equals false, so it's not been switched. If enter is down when self is hitting a player, we set switch to true. We switch the animation to on. Because remember, switch to true means that we, we've actually got an attribute switch that we can work with. Um, then we can do the same thing, so if it's the opposite, if it's on and um, switched is false, then switch to true because it's being switched at that moment, and switch it back to off. Notice I've got a little delay to turn switch to false again, because what we've got is then a second where you can't just like flick it on off and um, it, it tends to bug things out if you can do things very very quickly so all we're doing is taking that uh, opportunity to ruin things away from the player it's necessary um so my the one thing i'd definitely change about this uh is um the fact that at the moment it, it's got all this going on here but there's nothing that would tell anything else in the scene uh to do anything so we have to make sure we've either got a public attribute that um, can be changed when this happens, so something else in the scene can react to it, or we can have a situation in the scene itself. Uh, got anything? Yeah, so we can say if um, so we've got attribute there in the scene. So if that if a public attribute is triggered, then something can happen. So that means the public attribute of this guy here would. Put set off a big track if I had put it in, of course. I think I took it out at the end of the lesson to make sure we were focusing on these ones here. Okay, so collectibles, traps, and switches. Remember, switches can be very simple things, so you could have it. So if you just collided with that flag at any point, um, so you know, at any point if you collided, uh, so if uh, an actor, our player, hits an actor type, which is a switch, then something can happen as well, you know. Well, whatever you'd like to do. Um, yeah, so there's, there's multiple ways of um, making sure that these things happen. Let's just remove that. Not that we're going to save it anyway. Okay. Um, another, f uh, one more thing I was just going to show. Here we go. So, uh, the other thing I just want to remind you of is another aesthetic piece, which is this wonderful box. Now, this wonderful box, when it gets hit by the main character, it creates three box bits at its own location and then kills itself. And what that does is gives us this really nice little aesthetic where oh, there's a giant clown chasing us, isn't there? Okay, I've just remembered, there we go. There's a giant clown ruining the aesthetic here, but you can see that as he hits all the boxes, we can see everything flying everywhere. It's a really nice aesthetic, especially if we slow it down a bit and don't have a massive clown chasing us. Really, really easy to do. Make sure that your box bits have a set type to a random, and it's just you have random bits coming out of it. Uh, set the animation to type, because remember we've got one, two, three, so that, that the numbered animation, so it can do that. It pushes, uh, pushes itself up sharply towards a random direction, though, you know, y direction minus one at 30 force, and kills itself after two seconds. Do make sure gravity's on as well, because it'll make it work nicely. Okay. Some interesting little extras that I found recently. Apparently Bitsy is getting a, a 3D beta. I've no idea how it works. I imagine it's like a Tegas game, but you know, with uh, more restricted colours. 
Um, I also found this, which I thought was quite funny. Oh, look, it's cut off completely. Let's uh, look. It's it's uh, it's a take on, uh, uh, but it, it's quite clever. It's, it's there's depth to this. It's got Animal Crossing. It's got the Untitled Goose Game. It's got the issue with uh, toilet paper uh, being taken. Um, it's also got Tom Nook uh, and sort of like people people's talk of him being sort of on, on a capitalist agenda. Uh, of course, we know that he's actually the good guy, but that's too much going. And we then got a mixture of Animal Crossing and Doom having sharing the same um, release date. Um, I thought it was quite a nice little take on current affairs altogether. Good little comic. Okay, that's that's everything for today. Uh, just make sure that you are staying safe and um, uh, above all, uh, you know, wash your hands and don't get ill. Uh, I'll do another one of these for future work. Uh, so if you've got any questions or anything, do uh, just ask and I will endeavour to answer them in the next video. Okay, see you soon.